let's make this closer to real life. And obviously we're not talking about real life yet. Let's say that of your same hectare, you've got a blue half and you have a red half. And it just so happens that for whatever reason, the blue half is better at growing carrots. Better soil, better sun, whatever. So, um, it can grow 24 carrots and the red half can only grow 16. Okay, still adds up to the 40 that we started with, but we're showing that this half, the blue half, is specialized, it's better at growing carrots. And again, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Um, the red half, apparently, it's better at growing rocket. So, if this is true, again, we still get the same total, 20, but we can see that the rocket, I'm sorry, the red is better at rocket. Now's where we start to look at our PPC and it becomes much more important calculating our opportunity cost. Because just calculating the opportunity cost like we did before, where, um, where one carrot was worth half a rocket, it's kind of like, well, so what? It doesn't really matter. But now, since these two are different, we can say, okay, well, which one is better at which, and where should we focus each one's uh, abilities? So, again here, simple math. Let's set up blue, and we've got 24 to 8. So, this half of a hectare that is blue can produce 24 carrots or 8 rocket. We want to look at opportunity cost, so we want it in terms of 1. So this would be the opportunity cost for blue of growing rocket. This will be the opportunity cost of blue of growing carrots. We can get our answers in several ways. I'm going to show you a different way. You can still do the math like we did a couple slides back or you could do this a little bit differently. To get to 1, to get 8 to 1, obviously I'm going to divide 8 by 8. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. Well now I need to divide the other side by that as well. So 24 divided by 8 is going to be 3. Okay. I can get to this next one two ways. I can say, okay, well this is fine, but now I want the 3 to be a 1. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 divided by 3 is a third or 0.33, not 33 and a third. I could also get the same answer by just going up here and starting again. So I could go 24 divided by 24 is 1, and 8 divided by 24 is a third, 0.33. Okay? Likewise for here, we can go 12 divided by 12 is 1, 16 divided by 12 is one and a third. Sixteen divided by sixteen is one. Twelve divided by sixteen is three fourths. Now remember, so I'm sorry, three fourths or 0.75. Remember our reciprocal rule. If I wrote three fourths and wrote as reciprocal, that would be four thirds, which is one and one third. Okay, it's one with one third left over. Also pay attention to your patterns. I said this to a few of you. Like to me, I'm, I, I, I'm naturally pretty decent at math, but I never did real well because I didn't like all the steps and all that. But you have to see patterns in all this. 24 is bigger than 8. 3 is bigger than 1. 1 is bigger than a third. If that ever gets switched up, you know you've done something wrong. Because all these things have to represent what you set up over here. Okay. Likewise, 16 is bigger than 12, 1 and a third is bigger than 1, 1 is bigger than 3 fourths. Okay. So now let's fill this in. The opportunity cost of growing 1 kilo of carrots for blue, so 1 kilo of carrots for blue, is 0.33, and here's the trick, it costs you 0.33 rocket. The opportunity cost of growing rocket, rocket 1, is 3, carrots. And again, keep in mind, for each of these, whether blue or red, 24 is bigger than 8, it's a lot bigger than 8, and 16 is bigger than 12, but only a little bit. Okay? So here, you see that the 1, 3, is a lot bigger than the 0.33. Aha! Okay, now let's look at red. The opportunity cost of growing carrots is 0.75, rocket, and the opportunity cost of growing 
uh, <laughs> growing rocket is 1.33 carats. So again, you see, like, yes, 3 is a lot bigger than 0.33, but 1.33 is only a little bit bigger, uh, less than half, uh, of 0.75. So that's that same kind of difference that you're seeing here, kind of put into a different place. Patterns everywhere. Okay, so yes, you can simply look at this and see that 12 is better than 8, so red should produce rocket, and 24 is better than 16, so blue should produce carrots. But if it were more complicated, if instead of just blue and red, if I had five or six colors up here, then we could use opportunity cost to rank those. So if we look in the production of rocket, Again, right now we just have two, so it's simple. So red is best, and then blue is second best, because 1.33 is cheaper than 3 is. Likewise, in carrots, 0.33 is cheaper than 0.75. But if, but if we were able to do this with five or six things, now we could have them ranked 1 to, one to 6 as far as cheapest to most expensive. The effect that that has is easy to see if we go back to our PPC. I felt like that rhymed. Anyway, so this is the original PPC we looked at. I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, and what we can see, let's go back to the blue line. Remember we had said that the blue line was 100% production. Now, I've got to let you in on a little pet peeve of mine. You know sometimes, like it's a coach or a teacher, somebody says, wow, that person really gives 110%. And by the way, there's been a rant on this on Facebook lately, and I've had this opinion long before I heard that this rant. But uh, you can't give 110%. It's impossible. Like, if I'm playing football, what, uh, what's 110%? I mean, I've got all of me, and what, I'm going to use like somebody else's leg? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So, if this line represents 100%, how could point F, which was 24 and 12, how could it be outside of it? Note, we didn't shift the PPC out, we didn't improve our factors of production, we didn't get more land or better labor, or work longer hours, or a better machine. So we didn't push the PPC out, but we got a point that was beyond 100%. Well, how'd that happen? Well, this gets back to our definitions. Remember, our four factors of production, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. By the way, I, I assume this was Miss Barton's work. I do like the cell concept, C-E-L-L. -L. That's a good way to remember it. Um, always keep in mind, though, that the entrepreneurship, it's probably um, it's, it's the one that's most different from the rest. But uh, that's definitely a great way to remember that. Entrepreneurship, remember, it's the ability to organize the other three factors of production. So the land on its own is only able to produce the blue line. But by being smarter, more efficient in the use of resources, we can actually produce beyond what the PPC would state. So this first PPC that we drew in blue is probably not the real PPC. That might maybe was the PPC without entrepreneurship. And that's why entrepreneurship is such a vital um, resource and is so scarce. Um, with it, we're able to be more efficient, and again, this convex shape, uh, the convex shape is always showing that we've done better than some sort of linear trade-off. 